Hi folks, this is our HP Pro 125A multifunctional banging away here on our refills and I'm going to show you exactly how we've refilled it five times up until now and printed 10,027 test prints. The printer's going to do its best to put the willies up here with this orange light and some pop-up messages like this one agonizing about black supply very low so refill it right no because there still could be a fair old shed load of toner in there so just ignore any and all messages about toner and in the words of william shakespeare print on macduff and print as much as you can because we want to respond to something that proves there's no toner left which we in the profession if you can call it that are apt to call fade out and I want you to be very clear that we're not in fact looking for a page that goes uniformly grey all over we're looking for these white stripes that have almost normal print in between them and intensify and widen as you carry on printing so now that we've got fade out and only because we've got fade out we're going to unceremoniously melt a hole right here back in 1996 when we came up with melt and pour a lot of people did laugh at it but at that point it didn't have 19 years of proven experience in the field and well to be honest we were doing it with an apple corer Nowadays, of course, we've jazzed it up into this electric melting thingy you can see here. But essentially, we're still trying to charge you for melting a hole in your own empty toner cartridge. We've all got mouths to feed, you know. Now tell me, Mr. Bond, how do we like our toner bottle? Shaken, not stirred. And then we're going to get the cartridge almost vertical and marry up the bottle like this and jam that spout in tightly and lean the whole shaboodle back and give it a count of five. And then we're going to have to repeat that shake and pour a couple of times, maybe three, to get all the toner in. Now, if you take a good look at the cartridge that arrived with your new machine, you'll see it's a so-called introductory cartridge. For reasons best known to HP, the toner compartment has been made smaller and not all of our toner will go in. So you have to take care when pouring into the introductory cartridge and stop when you see the toner level has reached the hole. Like all good dentists, clean up around the orifice and put the plug in the plug hole. By the way, the plug, the swabs and everything else you can see us using here are all there for you in our HP Pro 125 family starter kit. You might have to find an alternative way to heat the end of the melting tool depending on the voltage in your country. Houston, we are good to go. Wang that puppy back in and initialize main thrusters. So before the refill with the fade out and after the refill, so far so good. But to quote the bard again, if I be waspish, best beware my sting. And whether intentional or not, there is a sting in the tail of this refill, in a word, waste. When this cartridge prints a page, not all of the toner is persuaded to jump across from the OPC drum to the paper. And what doesn't make the jump is scraped off the drum and stored inside the cartridge. The waste tends to build up in just one place and if there's enough of it, it'll start to splurge out onto the OPC drum and cause these skid marks, as I explained as long ago as 1992 with this diagram. But when I drew that, HP's waste compartments were huge and could store the waste for between four and seven refills. But for the Pro 125 introductory cartridge, we got waste overflow marks after only half a refill run. And for the Bort 83A cartridge, we just about limped to the end of one refill. By limped, I mean we were able to keep getting rid of the waste marks by forcing toner clumps in the waste to even out again by tapping on the waste compartment. Furthermore, in the case of the Bort 83A cartridge, we were able to successfully empty the waste and get another refill. 
Now, of course, we're all big boys and HP can design toner cartridges and waste compartments any way they like. But they should be aware that the small waste compartments and studiously adapted introductory cartridges, which remember have even smaller waste compartments, might easily be interpreted as a poke in the eye for reuse, environmentalism and customer choice. A triple whammy for the planet and all us lot. Nevertheless, you can still redress the various balances and even get your own back by refilling. My HP Pro 125 starter kit has everything you need for your first successful refill. On behalf of everyone here at You Refill Toner, it's been a hoot and a half making this video for you. Keep refilling in the free world. <laughs>